Hello everyone, my name is Paulino Brenner. I'm a Spanish teacher and I'm doing this quick video to share with you some resources, some free resources to improve your Spanish skills. One of the questions that a lot of teachers ask me and a lot of intermediate and advanced students ask me is where can I get more resources to improve my reading or my listening and usually they want free resources so they can use as much or as many as they want. I'm going to share a couple of my favorite resources for reading and uh, these are resources that are in the public domain so you don't have to worry about sharing them in the classroom or printing them. Um, and they are easy to use because there are several formats. You can put in your Kindle book, a PDF, or just write from the website. And another service that has um, put some of these materials that are in the public domain into audiobooks. So uh, some by native speakers, some by people who studied Spanish, but they're all good to listen. They're free, and it's a way to practice listening comprehension. What some people like to do is to listen and read at the same time to enhance their comprehension. My suggestion is that you try a little bit of everything, sometimes just reading and try to understand the whole meaning or the general meaning. Sometimes just listening and try to understand the general meaning. And sometimes a, com a combination, a combination of both. So my favorite site to look for materials to read is the Gutenberg Project or Project Gutenberg. So this is a collection of free ebooks, lots of them. And these are books that have been cataloged and they're all in the public domain. You can always search the catalog for Spanish and you'll get lots of titles there, some dictionaries, some, some books, or if you are on the main page and you want to just look around, I suggest you click on Browse Catalog and then scroll down to Spanish, the link to Spanish here. It has authors by alphabet, uh, titles by alphabet, those are in English, and then we have languages with, with more than 50 books. In Spanish, it's one of those languages, but they have lots of languages. So you can look for um, any language. I'm a Spanish teacher, so I'm always looking for materials for my classes or my students. So you can click on Spanish here, and now the uh, below you will see the results for the Spanish books, or books in Spanish. And some of them are books about Spanish, but many of them are books in Spanish. If you are interested in any of these books, just click on the title. Here I, would, I found one about my country, La Argentina. Click on it. And you'll have uh, a few options to um, read it. You can read it right from your browser, just the HTML version. You can read it just from your browser. You click on it. And you can read it right from there. And it usually has hyperlinks, so you can jump from one chapter to another. Or here you have options to download uh, different formats even directly to your Dropbox, your Drive, or to your uh, OneDrive. It's the new Microsoft thing, the OneDrive. Um, so look around and see what you, you can, you can look around or you can look by a specific author. Most of them are very old text uh, because they are in the public domain. Um, these are very old text, but still good to read anyway. Uh, many of those books and others from the public domain have been uh, 
put into audiobook format in this website called LibriVox. I have uh, submitted a few recordings there, so you might find my voice somewhere there. Uh, when you go to LibriVox, you can go and volunteer to read in any language, or you can listen. So you can go to their catalog to listen and just click on the language menu, select Spanish, and there you have lots of books for you to listen. Just click on any title, and you can listen right from the browser. You can download, etc. Um, you can download the whole book in a zip file. And sometimes you find the um, the text here as well, although I don't see it anymore. They just recently changed. Um, but here's a series, so I'm linking up different books that are in audio format. So sometimes you'll find the same book on the project Gutenberg. Let's see if that is true. Let's search for Gerona. And no, not one there. So sometimes the books on LibriVox come from other sources. So what I'm going to do is to find one short story that I selected previously and read it to you. So now you have it as some reading and listening material. There are a couple of Spanish readers. Um, like this one says, first Spanish reader has a few stories. But the one that I like the most is the, if I can find it now, <laughs> um, it's a book for elementary. So actually, let's put that here. There it is, an elementary Spanish reader. So it has some short stories. I'm going to read it right from the HTML files. And what I like about this one is it has similar um, fairy tales or short stories um, that some people know, like El Cuento del Pollo, uh, El Hombre Insaciable, Los Tres Osos, The Three Bears. That's known. Um, then it has some riddles there. Uh, El Burro Flautista. Um, so I'm going to choose El Cuento del Pollo to read to you. I hope you're ready to listen to a story. Here we are. El Cuento del Pollo. Un día, un pollo entra en un bosque. Una bellota cae en su cabeza. El pobre pollo cree que el cielo ha caído sobre él. Corre para informar al rey. En el camino encuentra una gallina. ¿A dónde vas? Pregunta la gallina. Oh, dice el pollo, el cielo ha caído en mi cabeza y voy a informar al rey. Yo voy también si quieres, responde la gallina, y se marchan juntos el pollo y la gallina al palacio del rey. En el camino encuentran un gallo. ¿Qué quiere aquí? ¿A dónde vas? Pregunta el gallo a la gallina. Oh, dice la gallina, el cielo ha caído sobre la cabeza del pobre pollo y vamos a informar al rey. Yo voy también si quieres, responde el gallo. Y se marchan juntos, el pollo, la gallina y el gallo al palacio del rey. En el camino encuentran un pato. Cuen, cuen, cuen. ¿A dónde vas? Pregunta el pato al gallo. Oh, dice el gallo, el cielo ha caído en la cabeza del pobre, po del pobre pollo y vamos a informar al rey. Yo voy también si quieres, responde el pato. Y se marchan juntos el pollo, la gallina 
el gallo y el pato al palacio del rey. En el camino encuentran un ganso. ¿A dónde vas? pregunta el ganso al pato. Oh, dice el pato, el cielo ha caído en la cabeza del pobre pollo y vamos a informar al rey. Yo voy, yo voy también si quieres, responde el ganso, y se marchan juntos el pollo, la gallina, el gallo, el pato y el ganso al palacio del rey. Oh, perdón, el ganso no hace burr, el ganso hace honk, honk, <ríe> wrong sound for the animal. Here we go, en el camino encuentran un pavo, here it is, burr, el pavo quiere ir con ellos a informar al rey que el cielo ha caído. Ninguno de los pobres animales sabe el camino. En ese momento encuentran una zorra. La zorra dice que quiere enseñarles el camino al palacio del rey. Todos van con ella, pero ella los conduce a su cubil. Aquí la zorra y sus cachorros se comen el pobre pollo y la gallina y el gallo y el pato y el ganso y el pavo. Los pobres no van al palacio y no pueden informar al rey que el cielo ha caído sobre la cabeza del pobre pollo. So there you have it. A short story from one of the books from Project Gutenberg that is in the public domain. You can search for one that you like. So those are two of my favorite free resources for reading or listening to improve Spanish skills. But as you can see on both sides, you can find uh, books on any uh, many languages. What about you? What are your uh, common resources or so where do you go to read or listen to the language that you are studying. Please leave a comment below with your suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more ideas and suggestions in the future. Hasta pronto. Gracias.